A water drop falls down from the roof of a house in three seconds. How high is the house? So, our given information. So, you know that the water drop is falling, so its initial velocity is zero meters per second. We know the time for this to occur is three seconds. We know that our final position is going to be y, which is equal to zero meters. We know that since we're falling under the acceleration, of the force due to gravity, our acceleration is going to be a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And we know that our initial position is the height at which our water drop starts. So this is what we are trying to calculate. So we're going to write down our three kinemax equations now. So V equals V naught plus AT. V squared equals V naught squared plus 2A delta Y and y equals y naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. For this case we rewrote uh, y naught uh, x as y because we're dealing with a vertical position. Usually they turn it to this form when you're dealing with a vertical position. You can leave it as x if you want. You just have to remember that when you do projectile motion you distinguish between the two. Normally, it is y is the vertical axis, x is the horizontal, and you should normally stay with that setup because it will make solving the problems easier and easier to follow the ways that they have in the solution manuals and so on. So for this case, we're going to use y equals y naught plus v naught yt plus one half at squared. So I'm going to rewrite that down now. Y equals Y naught plus V naught T plus one half A T squared. Now, we know that our final position is going to be zero, so we can ignore that. We know that our initial velocity is zero, so we can ignore this term as well. So we're left with zero is equal to Y naught plus one half A T squared. Now we're trying to solve for what our initial height is, so I'm going to get y naught alone, so we're going to subtract 1 half at squared from both sides, which will leave us with y naught is equal to a negative 1 half at squared. Now if we plug in our given values here, we can solve for our initial height, otherwise known as the height of the house. So y naught is equal to a negative 1 half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared times the time of 3 seconds squared. So y naught is equal to a 4.9 meters per second squared because a negative times a negative is positive. 9.8 divided by 2 is 4.9 meters per second squared. Then that's multiplied by 9 seconds squared. 3 times 3 9. Now if we simply carry out this multiplication here, we would see that our initial height is 44.1 meters.